Hi, my name is Becca. Welcome to my video series, Everyday English, Every Day. Here we have authentic conversations with real people to practice our English. Remember, you need to be consistent and spend at least 10 minutes a day. Take the phrases from these videos and work with them throughout the week. Practice repeating them. Practice making your own sentences with them. Okay, you can watch the video a few times to practice with me. All right, so we're going to talk today about seeing English progress. When we see progress, we see that we get better, we improve. So we go from one level to a higher level. Now we're going to listen to some conversations I had with learners during a webinar. The webinar is from the English language learning platform, Vagaru. We have a website in Spanish, English, and Polish, so check us out. See them in the comments below. Check out the links. And for a little more, we're going to talk about the verbs to shout and to yell. Okay, so we're going to talk about progress at Vagaru. A learner is going to share his experience, what he has seen in himself, right? He can speak English more, he speaks more English, and he's more confident. Now, we can study at Vagaru, or we can say we study on the Vagaru platform. Now, when you're listening to my conversation, to this conversation, the video, I want you to pick out these phrases. Let's practice the phrases together. Repeat them after me. I was so surprised, asked me to translate, attend webinars, scared to talk, making mistakes, have a break. Okay, so remember, during the video, I want you to pick out these phrases, okay? I, I know words in this um, in this area, uh, mm -hmm. but um, I I saw so surprised when some uh, some people uh, because we were there uh, with a group of uh, twenty people, mm -hmm. and uh, some some persons asked me uh, for um, to translate. So it, it was it was a very uh, strange for me because I always um, I was uh, very scared to to, to, to say something uh, and now uh, I, I saw now you're the because... translator huh <laughs> yes but, awesome uh, after but after... okay so he was so surprised when you're surprised it's like oh, wow right it's something you don't expect when you're surprised. He was surprised because people asked him to translate, like he was the person that knew the most. So that was new for him. That was an awesome thing to happen, right? It could show his progress. He's not asking someone to translate. He's doing the translating. <laughs> after that, but after that, I... Uh, I I've stopped uh, learning English. I uh, I didn't. Uh, I haven't done any in, any course in Pagaru. I I wasn't uh, watch. Uh, I was I watch. I wasn't watch, Philip, watching. May I have a question? <laughs> yes. How long are you in Pagaru? Uh, I I joined. Um, in because you have a progress uh, September in September I think uh -huh. but I um, but on the webinar I I uh, I, I, um, I I don't know how to say that you started to attend webinars uh, yes, I attend I attend the webinar by uh, one month, I think. One month ago, mm -hmm. yeah. For about a probably one or two months, maybe you were in webinars. Maybe, but with uh, with uh, but not 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 very regular. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you have a progress because on webinar. 
Yes, yes, I, yes, I oh think my it's, God. It's, uh, the, the most important thing. Yes, you know. So, um, now during our conversation, webinars are real conversations. Learners can listen to each other and ask each other questions. And at one point, mm, the learner couldn't remember the word to use to attend webinars. And another learner helped him. Right? I mean, there are times in English I forget what word I want to say. Okay? So it's normal. It happens in our native languages, right? But at Vagaru, it's okay if we can't remember things because we have the support. We help each other. All right, let's listen to the rest of the video. I think, yes, you know, because... Okay, congratulations. I, I, I didn't pay him. I did not pay him. <laughs> yeah, okay. But, but, you know, I had uh, always problem uh, because I scared to, um, to, to, to talk with uh, other people because I think that I uh, don't uh, know uh, English uh, so uh, well. And on, the, on this webinar, I know that... Uh, making mistakes are normal and uh, and i don't have to scare, scare that and that makes my english a little better well that's huge right i mean our mindset is really what holds us back in most things right yes but but, but I, I i also want to tell you that after after my uh, visit uh, business visit in mm -hmm. uh, egypt i have a break two weeks uh, in English, uh, with English, mm, and after that I, um, I, I went there uh, on my holiday, mm -hmm. and I... So wait, where did you go on your holiday? Uh, Egypt again? No. Yes, 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 in general. So you were in Egypt two times? Yes. Okay. Uh, and I, I see that mm, my English is... Um, it, it came um, worse. Okay, so yeah, when you don't keep I, it up, you see a big difference, yes, right? Because I, I, I don't have contact by uh, two weeks, mm -hmm. and I, uh, I, I saw the difference because, because of that. Okay, so that's super important, right? Um, a lot of things he said were super important. Um, he talks about making mistakes. Before he was scared to talk. He was afraid, right? He didn't want to. But he realized that making mistakes are normal, right? It's okay. Um, and he also talked about when he had a break, right? He took a break from English for two weeks and he noticed his English got worse, okay? He didn't, you know, because he wasn't using it, he could see the difference. All right, so let's look a little more at some vocabulary, some things that were said in the conversation, okay? Repeat after me. Some people asked me to translate. May I ask a question? How long have you been on Vagaru? I have been attending webinars for a month. Or we can say, I have been attending webinars since December. I started a month ago. Making mistakes is normal. I don't have to be scared. Okay. Now we're going to listen to another's learner's experience, okay? Repeat the phrases after me. I am better too. My English is better. Now here we're gonna see more about progress and all also more about the support people give each other at Vagaru. I think. Uh, hello, Becca. Hi, everyone. Uh, I would like to say that uh, 
uh, I would like to say something about Philip because, <laughs> you know, um, uh, I remember you uh, uh, before my uh, surgery uh, in hospital and uh, mm, I think that it's uh, amazing progress. I, I see, uh, I remember uh, your English before and now it's really amazing so uh, congratulations <laughs> thank you <laughs> and um, mm, did you see a difference when you had to take a break Robert could you tell it yeah was a, mm -hmm. because uh, I've had uh, a very big uh, break and uh, uh, now I see uh, how it uh, was changed uh, with uh, I, I talk about uh, uh, English, uh, Philip's English <laughs> or something. I, I hope that uh, I am understandable. I understand and, you. Uh, I, I, I think that uh, I have the same uh, feel, feeling mm -hmm. that uh, I am better too because when I, uh, when I uh, started, uh, I don't remember exactly when, uh, I, I also uh, had uh, breaks sometimes, mm -hmm. but uh, anyway, my English is uh, better thanks to Vagaro. And uh, when I uh, talk... All right, so another learner agrees that his English is better because of the practice he gets with us at Vagaro. All right, so let's talk about some of these words. Better. I am better than I was before. I am better than I was in the past. Better is a comparison, right? Is a word we use for comparing things. He is a better soccer player than his brother. Now, best is a superlative right? It's the top. Vagaru is the best English platform online. Now, we have the negative form, which is worse. If you don't practice, your English skills get worse. We use this to compare two things, too. The second movie was worse than the first. And then we have worst. This is the superlative. The worst way to practice English is in silence, okay? You have to speak aloud, okay? You have to talk in order to improve your English. Don't say you are the worst English speaker. Remember, don't ever apologize for your English. If you want, you can say, I'm learning English, but that's it. <laughs> All right, now we're going to talk, we're going to listen to one more conversation about the progress and support at Vagaru. This one's focusing on support, okay? Um, repeat the phrases after me. Proud of. Say thank you to. I realized. When you're proud of something, you feel good. We say thank you to a person when we're appreciative, when we're grateful for something. When you realize something, it's like, oh, okay. You understand it, you get it when you realize it. All right, let's listen to this conversation. Remember, you're listening to pick out these phrases of progress or anything you're proud of? Mm -hmm. What have you to say? I have to say thank you for Darek. <laughs> oh. uh, last time, yes, we talk about shouting for children. Mm -hmm. And I have to say that uh, from a sad Saturday, I didn't uh, shout for my children, not once. So I'm proud of uh, myself, I can say. Yes, yeah. it's really hard because um, they don't uh, listen to me mm -hmm. <laughs> as mm -hmm. earlier. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but 
I, I didn't do it uh, not once, so it's correct or no? Because yeah, I didn't, I didn't yell not once. Uh, not once. once. I didn't yell not, not even once. once okay. Right? Yeah. So, mm -hmm. Oh yes. After uh, one direct uh, asked me uh, about it, I realized that uh, <laughs> it's strange. It's difficult. It's it's stupid and <laughs> yeah. So direct helped me. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, isn't it wonderful? <laughs> we can support and help each other. How lovely. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. All right, so I like to give some time in webinars to talk about what we're proud of, right? We need to pat ourselves on the back and say, good job, right? So it's important and it's really awesome when we can tell others, right, how they helped us. This learner, she has children, right? Children don't always listen. So sometimes we yell to get their attention. Another learner was talking with her about not yelling, and she's taking his advice. Pretty awesome. Now, we say thank you to someone. Now, I can say thank you for something, but I say thank you to a person. The All right, now let's look a little more. To shout or to yell. We can say, I shouted at my children because they weren't listening to me. It's the same as, I yelled at my children because they weren't listening to me. Now, we can also say to yell out in surprise or pain. The girl yelled out when her brother scared her, right? She was surprised. The player yelled out as he fell to the ground. He was in pain. Now, a shout out, actually, <laughs> this is not written correctly, it needs to have a hyphen up here, not below. Now, a shout out is when you give a message or a congratulations to someone. You're showing support or appreciation when you give a shout out. I want to give a special shout out to everyone that helped me move into my new house. Now, in the video that we listened to, we were talking about saying this. I didn't yell, not once. I didn't yell, not even once. We could also say, I didn't yell at all. Or just, I didn't yell. I haven't yelled all week. All right. So if you like my video, give me a like, please, and subscribe to my channel. I post new videos on Mondays. Comment below, right? Ask me any questions and check out Vagaru in Spanish, English, or Polish. You can also email me with any questions. All right, guys, have a great rest of your day. Keep on practicing. Bye-bye.